Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this honeycomb pasta recipe. So keep watching, and I'll show you step by step how to make this. The first thing we need to do is start off by cooking some rigatoni and just cook it according to the directions. Nothing special there. We're gonna end up putting it into this small springform pan, like so. You can do it if you don't have a springform pan, but it's just a lot easier with the springform pan. When your water comes to a boil, go ahead and pour in your rigatoni. Let this cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. When your rigatoni is all done cooking, we're going to drain it. So after we drained our rigatoni, we're going to set that aside and we're going to work on our springform pan. Just put a little bit of olive oil in there. Take a napkin or paper towel and spread it around. Make sure you go up the sides. Now we're going to take our rigatoni and just line them up, kind of standing up. Sorry if some of them fall down at first, and they are hot, so do be careful. There we go, it looks pretty good. Now we're gonna add cheese and sauce to this, and I like a lot of cheese, so I'm gonna use different varieties of cheese and a lot of it. So, first thing we're gonna do is, I have a little bit of Parmesan cheese. This is just like powdered cheese. Put that in there. Just sprinkle a little in there. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's good. I have Italian five cheese blend. I'm just going to sprinkle some of this in there. Try to get it into the holes of the rigatoni. Not a lot. I've also cut into little thin strips some mozzarella. I'm gonna take these and just stick it down into the holes of the rigatoni. Just like so. And you don't have to fill every single one, just fill quite a few. And you don't have to do any of them, really, if you don't want to. If you just like cheese, like me, you'll do this. Now I'm going to add some tomato sauce. You can use meat sauce if you like. I'm just using regular tomato sauce. Just add some right in there. And when you have all those filled up, I have some sliced mozzarella cheese that I'm going to lay on top. Now we're going to bake this in the oven at 375 degrees for about 30 minutes. When it comes out of the oven, we're going to let it cool for about 15 to 20 minutes. After it's cooled down, we're going to take the sides off of the springform pan and try to keep it intact. Now take the sides off your springform pan. There we go. Nice. There it is. It stayed intact. All right, so now we're gonna cut into this and see if we can keep it in its shape somewhat. Nice. Now it's time for the taste test. We're gonna dig in and get one with some cheese in there. It's good. It could use a little more sauce, but it's good. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this honeycomb pasta recipe. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Also hit that big red subscribe button and check out this video right here. And until then, I'll see you next time. We're gonna end up putting it into this small little, we're gonna end up putting this into this small ah, spring siding. Now we're gonna, <clears throat> how to make this, let's go honeycomb pasta.